Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Jamaica Labour Party councillor caretaker for the South Borough Division in St. Catherine, Lennox Hines, was shot and killed while driving on Marcus Garvey Drive in Kingston this afternoon. A woman who was a passenger has been hospitalised. His daughter escaped injuries. Four of the 33 defendants who were before the court in the Klansman Wandon gang trial were freed of gang-related charges on Thursday. And six of the 25 counts that were leveled against the gang members were struck out by the prosecution due to insufficient or lack of evidence. The alleged gang leader Andre Blackman Bryan was indicted on five of those counts. The Northern Caribbean University NCU says the arrest of one of its lecturers, Dr. Russell McLean, for alleged sex crimes and other offences is unfortunate. On Wednesday, Dr. McLean waived his right to an extradition hearing in a Kingston court and agreed to go to the U.S. to face allegations of armed sexual battery, armed burglary of a dwelling, and armed kidnapping offences that date back to 1997. The 12 National Commercial Bank NCB customers who lost approximately $18 million in a cyber fraud attack will be on their own to recover their money. The bank says the customers unwittingly volunteered their information through fraudulent text messages and telephone calls. In sports, Reggae Boys head coach Paul Hall says a lack of chemistry and poor defensive errors were key factors contributing to Jamaica's heavy 6-0 defeat to Catalonia in their friendly international in Spain on Wednesday. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.03, the British pound sterling for $194.90, and the Canadian dollar for $121.87. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, expect showers and isolated thunderstorms across sections of northern and southwestern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and like, comment, and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.